Welcome one, welcome all. Thank you for joining me yet again. I really appreciate your support. Before we get started, hit the button, the subscribe button. So what I'm gonna be talking about today is how to get your offer accepted in the competitive seller's market, like the one that we're in right now. While it is challenging to get an offer accepted, it is not impossible, but you have to have a strong offer. So the goal is to make your offer attractive enough to the seller for them to pick your offer above anyone else's. So here's a few tips that may help you get started on how to build a strong offer. Number one, it is a really good idea to have your agent contact the listing agent. The reason for that is if you know what the seller's motivations are, what they need, what they want, how soon they have to move, it may take them a while to move, so they may not be looking for a short closing, or they may need a short closing, but you won't know that unless you get the information from the seller from the seller or the listing agent. So having your agent contact the listing agent can be very important to helping you start to build a really strong offer. Number two, if you can put down a larger earnest money deposit. Generally speaking, earnest money is typically around one to one and a half percent. But in the competitive seller's market, if you can swing more, put down more. This is going to accomplish a few things. It's going to, one, show the seller your level of commitment and your seriousness to purchasing the home. Another reason is it's going to show the seller that you are confident in your ability to be able to close this loan. Number three, either waiving or shortening your contingencies. Before you do this, though, talk with your realtor to make sure that you understand what this means, because this can be risky. Risky because once your contingencies end, you're no longer able to get your earnest money back if you were to walk away. So before you do this, have a clear understanding as to what this actually means, because we do not want you to lose your money. Number four, come with your highest and best offer the first time. Because this is a competitive seller's market, you're going to lose time if you're trying to do counteroffer here, counteroffer there. Instead of doing that, come with your highest and best first because other buyers are going to be doing that. And they may want your house, this house as much as you do, especially if it's move-in ready and priced right. So you don't want to waste time because wasting time can cost you the deal. Number five, asking for low or no closing costs. When a buyer asks a seller for closing costs, they're asking the seller to take money from their bottom line. So let's say that you offer full price, but then you come back and you ask for 5,000 closing costs. That's going to be 5,000 less than what they net on the sale of their house. So think about that because somebody else that asks for no closing costs, they may have a higher chance of winning the bid if all the other terms fit favorably to the seller. Number six, adding an escalation clause. You add an escalation clause in this market if you choose to when you really, 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 really want the house and you would be heartbroken if somebody else got this house. So what you would do is with the escalation clause, it will simply say something like, buyer will add $1,000 more than the highest offer received, not to exceed $185,000. <laughs> I don't have no good sense. So with that, Let's say that the house was on the market for $175. You offered $175. However, there's another offer that offered $180. With your escalation clause, your offer now is at $181 and beating out that other offer, making you now the highest bid. So that's how escalation clause works. What's important to remember is that an offer is not solely about the price. There are other things that the seller may deem as important as the price. Like if they want to close in 45 days instead of 21 days, but you think 21 day close is strong, so you offer that gung ho. But you didn't do number one and have your agent call the listing agent first to see what they really wanted. So keep that in mind. Money is not everything in this kind of market or any market, to be honest with you. Okay, so once again, if you got to the end, you either like what? or the information I provide. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great day, guys.